A wonderful morning to all my dear students of Sri Gogulam Public School. This is Nidam Ma'am with you and I welcome you all to my English online class. In today's class, we are going to study a lesson from your Honeysuckle textbook, Unit 9, Desert Animals. Now my children, our entire world is such a magical and a mystical place because we are living among some of the most unexplainable kind of phenomena around us. Just look around the nature. What is it that you don't have in our nature? There are the hilly areas, the mountain areas, then there are the rainforests, there are the grasslands, waterfalls. There are also dry areas like the desert areas. Now the desert areas also there are hot deserts and cold deserts which are filled with snow in the Arctic Antarctic area. Every continent, every country is so very different. So it is a very magical place. And definitely if there is a heaven it is definitely on earth. You don't need any other special place to go and find out heaven. Heaven is there in us, within us, around us. We are living in a, such a heavenly place. And in our lifetime, I think the most important thing that we all need to remember during our lifetime is to explore this heaven. There is so much to see around us, so much to learn from the nature. So we need to go out and find out more about nature. In today's class, we are just going to explore one such aspect of nature that is deserts. Deserts are places which have very less water and we also know that it does not rain in deserts for months and sometimes for years also. Therefore, they are the driest places on the earth. Animals or any life is very difficult in a desert because we need that what because we know that water is very essential for surviving and there is no water in the desert so it is difficult for animals or any life organism to uh, survive in a desert but surprisingly there is life in desert okay how it is possible it is possible because the animals over there find their own ways or means to beat such difficult conditions of the atmosphere. Some examples are given in your textbook. Gerbils, okay. Gerbils are mouse-like creatures. Uh, they go to underground. They stay in the underground during hot days. Darkling beetle. Darkling beetle is an insect which uses strange way to beat the heat. They drag drops of moisture from their feet, from their legs, lift them in the air and drop it into their mouth. So there are water droplets on the legs of these insects. So they collect water over there and they use it little by little. Then uh, it is also told that uh, not all areas of deserts are filled with sand. Okay. There are also stony areas are there and there are also places where there are small bushy plants are there. And these bushy plants also have colorful flowers during the spring season. Then uh, different types of animals and creatures there that are found in the desert is explained in the next paragraph. There are about 2300 types of snakes. Okay around the world and uh, most of the snakes are quite harmless but some of them are also very poisonous we know that there are many poisonous snakes also snakes lay eggs to reproduce and uh, there are also some which give birth to young ones now in america the deserts are very dry and rocky by nature okay there is a very evil looking snake in the deserts of uh, America and it is called the rattlesnake. Now a rattlesnake one can hear its sharp sound from even a distance of 30 meters and it strikes or it hits us with a very lightning speed. 
रैटल स्नेक ट्राइज टू एवॉइड पीपल एज मच एज इट कैन बट इफ इट फील्स डिस्टर्ब इट विल होल्ड इट्स टेल अप राइट ओके मीन्स इन स्टैंडिंग पोजिशन इट विल होल्ड इट्स स्नेक एंड इट विल गिव अ शार्प साउंड विच विल मेक द पीपल टू मूव अवे बट इफ दीज वार्निंग्स आर नॉट लिसन टू और ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली द स्नेक विल टर्न अराउंड टू बाइट नाउ वी ऑल नो दैट स्नेक्स कैन नॉट हियर ओके इट इज अ वेरी नोन कॉमन थिंग दैट द स्नेक्स आर डेफ दे कैन नॉट हियर देन हाउ डू दे सेंस साउंड और नो दैट पीपल आर कमिंग नियर इट अफकोर्स स्नेक्स डू दैट बाई feeling the vibrations from the ground so when we are walking we are producing vibrations on the ground it's very very subtle very very minor it is not very known that we make vibrations on the ground but snakes have the sense to understand that vibration they feel that vibration so they understand if somebody is coming whether it is an animal or a human being they understand it through the vibrations rattle snakes are commonly found in the american continent from canada to argentina they eat they eat small animals like mice uh, rodents rats etc they use their poisonous toxin that is that poisonous content in their body to kill the prey some other way that snakes eat is that they just swallow gulp down or swallow the animals completely some snakes eat more than once and pythons if they eat uh, for one uh, time they can then survive for a year because probably pythons eat a whole goat a chicken and also they can survive with one year by eating very less amount of food okay next the next animal which is found in the desert are mongoose mongooses mongooses likes to hunt together but they always keep uh, a place they always keep a place from where they can watch predators there near them so they are always looking out okay whether somebody is coming to attack them predator means an animal who is coming to attack okay uh it is interesting to watch them how they are poking their nose into the holes and you know turning upside down the rocks and scratching the ground with their sharp claws in search of food normally you find them traveling in groups of 20 and they travel in search of food their food is beetles millipedes and small other creatures they take extra care to keep a place from where they can watch the animals who are dangerous for them like hawks eagles and large snakes on uh, noticing anything doubtful they make a special warning call to alert one another so if they find something is a problem they create a special kind of voice which is an alar- alarming sound so that the others in the group even if they are little you know just moved here or there they know that they are in trouble and they come and join together and if somebody is some animal or any human being is coming to attack them they can also fight in a group so that is how mongooses move about i'll conclude today's class with this we will continue in the next class With this I'm concluding today's class read your textbook thoroughly and study your notes properly write down the notes it is very very important till we meet again in our next class this is farewell from nida ma'am have a wonderful day thank you